Hi to everyone and welcome back to the channel uh, and the next video in the series in which I want to cover the load static template and save static template, a recent addition to uh, the DCS world mission editor scenario. It's quite useful actually. Um, it's not exactly as I anticipated it would be, which would be to make um, units, uh, static units, uh, templates out of them and you'd be able to paste them on the map wherever you wanted. Uh, this is more of a, a whole map scenario and I'll explain that in more detail. I thought it might be the, the scenario with the ships, where you can create the Stennis, um, put it in the, the location where you need it, and then obviously attach the static objects to it, and then save that as a template and paste it into a mission any way you like. Um, it doesn't work that way. Uh, it's not an unfortunate situation. I'm sure it's a work in progress scenario, and it will come eventually. But what tends to happen when you do that is that you'll create the template, you'll have the ship, and you'll have multiple aircraft all over the deck, uh, or units if you're using the mod. And then you'll paste it into another mission. But what happens is it puts the Stennis in, and it places the first aircraft that you placed on the deck. And that's it. That's the only thing it will do. So it's not really designed for that at the moment. But like I say, I'm sure it's coming. So I'll now run through what it's actually designed to do, as far as I can see. Right, so what I think it was designed to do was act like a, a whole map type template. So any units that you placed on the map, uh, and if you wanted to recreate that situation again in another mission, then you could save a static template and then load that static template in the next mission. And basically I'll show you how I think that was supposed to work. Here I have created at uh, Jean or Jean Airport, however you pronounce it, got no idea. Um, for the people I fly with this would be our base of operations uh, and I want to set it up in that fashion. So I'd have all the aircraft and all the statics and all the vehicles moving round that particular airfield. And every time I wanted to create a mission for that multiplayer environment, I could save this as a static and then load it as a static uh, in the next mission. Historically, what you would have had to have done is save the mission itself and call it a template and then use that template again to create a new mission. Now, what tended to happen there is you'd always forget to use the mission template. If you do that this time round, but save it as a template, then you can paste it into any mission that you do, so long as it's on the same map. It's very geographically specific, uh, is this particular method um, that's been introduced. Obviously, you can't paste items from NTTR into the Caucasus, because the locations are not the same. It's as simple as that. Now, let me show you what I've got here. Basically, I've set up this airfield with all the elements that I wanted. So I've got um, a, an air traffic control tower here. I've extended the parking slots slightly uh, by incorporating a mod uh, and putting in FARPs for the helicopters. So this airfield goes from basically a four-slot airfield to a plethora of slots. And this one, this one here, I set up for Harriers. And at the end of the video, I'll show you uh, exactly how this airfield works. What I wanted to do was include vehicles, because I do like a little bit of movement uh, on the airfield when people spawn in. And I also put um, ground crew in. I'm a stickler for uh, a little bit of reality. Now, how do I save this? Well, it, it saves the entire map, so you could have set up other air bases as well. But what I do is I go into edit save static template and then I will name it I'll just call this NTTR because that's where I am I'll name the, name the template as NTTR and I will create it 
And there we go. It's ta it's literally taken a snapshot of the whole map. Anything that's on the map is there. Now what the static template does is it maintains all the waypoints as well. And I'll show you that. The only thing that the uh, static template won't do um, is save trigger zones like this one. It won't save a trigger zone if you put it in. And it also won't save any triggers or conditions or actions that you've got in the mission. You'll have to set up those from afresh. So now what I'll do is I will open up a new map. So I'll say create new. I'll say yes. Nevada again. And click OK. And let's zoom in on the airport. As you can see, it's completely empty at the moment. But as soon as I move up to Edit and Load Static Template, I can select that and then click Load. And there we have it. Every single item that I had historically placed on this map is there. The vehicles with their waypoints, the ground crews, the aircraft, everything. And that's why it's so useful. I like the new introduction, and I'm hoping that it will be expanded for the, the ship element, because that would be really cool. But that's the, the save static template and load static template in a nutshell. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll run out and show you um, this setup, but thank you for watching.